present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwined and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? <laughs> <laughs> 